Hello, bougie babies. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. I'm filming again. Uh, I low key, I might re record the other two videos I filmed just because the lighting in those videos is so terrible. So we'll, we'll see how I'm feeling after this one because the sun is just doing everything it has to do for me right now. I'm in my PJ shirt and I definitely have work today, but I did my makeup today. I did a little slight something. It's not a full face, but I feel cute. So we're gonna do this. I took a really good nap, so I feel real, real good. Obviously by the time you guys know, today is Purple Room Advice. And if you guys haven't met her, this is Lola. And she just wants some love and attention right now. This is a Purple Room Advice video. <laughs> so we're gonna get straight into it. If you haven't already, make sure you like Hey, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, you can write, oh, what's the email address? I'm gonna put it on the screen. I can't even remember, it's been that long. But I think it's the purple room advice at gmail.com. If I'm wrong, it's, it's on the screen. So if you need advice, if you need some sisterly, big sister, I don't know, middle child sister, <laughs> you know, my advice may not fit what you might do, but that's why y'all here to hear what I gotta say, right? So. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, write in if you need some help. We don't judge over here. And let's get into the video. All right, so the first one. I just started dating this guy and he plans a quick getaway for us. But the moment I found out, he booked through a third party app for a deal. I had to drop him. That's a broke move for real. And I already know it's gonna be miserable. Can I read? Miserable bees in the comments, but I don't care. Girl, you tripping. First of all, if a man books a trip for you, honey, and he paying for the whole thing, I don't care how you pay for it. I mean, no, I don't care how you pay for it. I'm gonna go on the trip, okay? What does it matter if, like, I just don't understand the logic behind that. What does that mean? How is he broke? Y'all know, in the year 2024, do you know how expensive plane tickets are? Like, plane tickets, train tickets, and driving are all literally going to run you the same amount of money. But plane tickets are probably a little bit more expensive. So, the less money you spend on just trying to simply get to where you got to go, the more you can do when you get there. Like, would you is it looking for a deal in the year 2024 where prices are at an all-time high okay you can't go anywhere and not spend at least $30 these days like it's crazy think about how much money we're spending in a week it's a crazy reason to drop somebody just because he's trying to save money girl he's still got to come back and got bills to pay I feel like only people with like poor money management say stuff like this like he only booked the trip only book the trip now granted i will say all right if my man book a trip and he gotta stay at some rinky dink hotel when i say rinky dink like i'm not a picky person but don't be having me lay my head somewhere where it's clearly like roaches or bed bugs or the place just look dirty like, girl other than that i don't see the problem that's a crazy reason to break up with somebody so, I hope we found somebody else to take. <laughs> like, the fact that it says, like, third party app, like, that's literally it. Third party app. Just a third party app? That's crazy. My boyfriend of four years got drafted this past year to the NBA, and he recently just told me that he wants me to go with him to the city he got drafted to. I love my HBCU and all the friends I have made, but he offered to pay for me to go to school out there. Okay, boyfriend of four years. This one's tricky. Because my first response would be like, don't do it, because that's not your husband. Like, I feel like that would be a good test for the relationship, like moving to a different place and like relying on them to financially put you through school. You know, like that's such a major, like, how do I say? That is, something so major to put into somebody who could wake up and be like I don't want to be with you the next day and granted your husband could do that same thing but I feel like there's more security there knowing that there is like a 
like super solidified commitment. That is so tricky because four years is a long time and I can only imagine like, you know, what you must feel about him moving to a different place and you not going with him, like what does that mean? But like I was saying, I saw this TikTok earlier today that talked about like your relationships being tested and that's how you know you know, you can marry somebody. Not really like the length of time that you guys have been together and the sun is setting. Not really the length of time that you guys have been together, but has your relationship been tested through different seasons in life? And so you guys know that you are able to withstand different problems. And so I feel like this is a good moment to see if this is somebody who you could potentially be with forever. Um, not that you can't find that out if you do end up going with him, but I don't know. I feel like that's a lot of trust to put into somebody as far as like your future. And I mean, who's say if you all break up, so what does that mean for you in school? Does that mean that he's not gonna pay for your school anymore? And then you're kind of SOL and then you gotta like, you know, figure it out from there, like stuff like that. So I don't know, I would say stay. I would say stay and try to work it out long distance. I would say stay. I would say that's probably the safest option is for you to stay exactly where you are. And if he is willing to support you to put you through school and have you moved to where he is, then he should be able to do the same thing no matter where you go. I gotta hurry up before it gets dark in here because the sun is setting, but it's okay because I feel like you guys can see my face just a little bit more now. But y'all, just a side note, my ring light broke, so. But I told y'all, every time I try to get back to this YouTube thing, it's always something. But I'm not gonna let it stop me. Like, we're just gonna have to roll with it. I broke my girlfriend's trust two years ago by watching, insert corn. I feel like I can't do anything now. She always gets upset when I wanna go somewhere alone and gets insecure. It's affecting how I feel about her. Now, let's be so real. That is a serious thing, okay? First, for so many reasons, you broke your girlfriend's trust, and this was two years ago, so I'm assuming she's still having a hard time uh, getting over the fact that now she knows that you engage in this particular activity. And I guess this, you gotta step into like a woman's perspective for it, like she probably thinks that you don't like her because if you liked her enough why would you need the extra and you really shouldn't be watching corn anyway but another topic for another day right you should probably work those 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 issues out and try to stop i feel like if that is too much of an issue for you to let that go for the sake of rebuilding your girlfriend's trust in you then you guys probably shouldn't be together and you got to work that out on your own and figure that out for yourself um because it, it kind of makes sense why she gets insecure now two years and y'all still having the this issue i don't know maybe y'all should probably shouldn't be together because it seems like you aren't doing anything to sort of mend the trust and she isn't really receptive to it because you know, that's all she has in her mind when you are alone or X, Y, and Z. So, yeah, this was short. My battery's dying now. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna try to end this before my battery dies. Uh, make sure you subscribe, write in if you need, and I will see you guys in the next one.